Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this fluidy liquid gradient background design animations, whatever that you want to call it inside of After Effects using some very simple and easy effects. It's a super easy background animation to create and it looks very, very premium, very nice, very elegant. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. Alright guys, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's set the width to 2560 by 1440. I'm using a 2K composition size. You can of course go with Full HD or 4K if you want to. I'll rename this to Render as our main render comp. Frame rate is set to 30 FPS and 10 seconds long duration. Press OK. Then press Ctrl Y to create a new solid called this BG. You can of course call it whatever that you want. I'm going to call this BG for a background. And let's add some nice color to this. So I'll select the layer, go into effects and presets and search for an effect called four color gradient. So we get this four different points which we can move around. So I can randomly place points wherever that I want something like that. All right. So let's add some nice color to this. I'll go with a nice maybe blue color. For the pink also I'll select the blue and uh, this one. I'm going to set this to a nice. And um, this one let's go with a purple tone, maybe a darker purple tone, something like that. And let's create a keyframe on the point one, two, three and four. Let's go at 10 seconds and then we can move this around. So maybe I'll move this one right here, move this one right here and this one as well. And I'm doing this very randomly. You can of course move it anyhow that you want. So we have a basic animation which looks like this. Then go into effects and presets and add an effect called 12. Let's add a rotation or angle of one degree, one complete rotation. And that is looking pretty nice. Let's move the time indicator at the very start and set the 12 radius to around 15. Create a keyframe, go all the way up to 10 seconds and let's set this to 30. So we have something like this. Now, as you can see, we get this corner or edge issues with this effect. So to fix this, I can add a motion tile on this. So go into effects and presets and search for motion tile double click to apply that or maybe you can just drag and drop it now make sure to put this effect on the top of all these two effects like so and let's increase the output width and height to 300 by 300 so now we have something like this as you can see our spiral or the twirl is also looking bigger and that is exactly what we want so this is before and this is after looking really nice now let's right click and create a new adjustment layer you can of course call it anything that you want i'm going to call this waves select the waves adjustment layer and go into effects and presets and search an effect called wave warp double click to apply that now there are a number of different pre presets but the one that i want is the circle one let's increase the wave height to around 500 Go at the very start again and let's create a keyframe on wave width and set this to let's go with something like 460 should be good a good number to start from and also bring down the wave speed to 0.2 and then go all the way up to 10 seconds and set this to maybe 660 and now to fix this black blobs that we see I will be using again the motion tile effect. So I can simply copy this motion tile, control C and control V and make sure to place it on the top and boom, there we go. Now what I'm going to do is change the direction of the shape. Now you can move it in any direction that you want to make it look really, really cool. But I'll set this to around 45. I think that looks really nice. 
so we get this really cool look as you can see i can play around with the wave height again so i think it's a bit too intense or maybe something like so so this is looking nice one thing that we need to fix is still we get this kind of a choppy blob edge so to fix this i can turn on the mirror edges on the motion tile for this one and this one as well and now we get much more smooth and fluidy or fluid liquid so it looks very very cool and then final touch that i want to add to this is a noise effect so i'll type in noise and add that effect make sure to place it in between the wave warp and motion tile and let's set this to four percent so it adds a really nice noise and it also help us to avoid any kind of color bendings and then you can go ahead and add any title that you want or any text that you want to this particular background and yes it definitely looks really really cool as you can see super cool and again anytime you can jump into the background that we just created go into twirl you can play around with the twirl settings you can play around with the um colors so let's see if i go with something like white maybe a grayish tone so we get this really nice look as you can see and the best part is that you can go into the wave warp and there are a number of different presets that you can use so let's say if i go with noise we get this really interesting look if we go with smooth noise then we have this really nice gradient again which looks really interesting i can play around with the wave height in this to get a much more minimal look and as you can see it looks really cool so make sure you play around with this uh, different presets and it's super useful i think now before we end today's video i just want to take a minute and tell you guys about my all-in-one motion graphics pack gaze link to which is in the description below The pack now comes with Atomex extension and over 4500 plus ready to use animations saving you a lot of time. Using the pack is super easy. Open your project composition, browse the animation that you like using the Atomex extension and just click on apply. Boom, you are good to go. You can even use the customizer inside the extension to edit your animations. And as you can see, it only takes a few seconds. Gaze Graphics Pack comes equipped with 22 different categories, which include 230 plus slideshows and typography animations, 400 plus transitions, 650 plus titles and lower thirds, 60 plus logo animations, animated devices, infographics, color filters, social media animations, shape elements, text and animation presets, sound effects and a lot more. So grab your copy today of the Gaze Graphics Pack version 5 powered by Atomex extension. So that is how you can create this uh, liquidy style gradient background inside of After Effects. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. If you're watching my video for the very first time, make sure to subscribe. And you can also follow me on Instagram at dope.motions and Nikhil Pawar. All the links are in the description below. With that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.